we're trying to answer the question, are we alone? In our search for an answer, we've found that we don't have a very good idea of what the question means. For example, who is we? What is life? And what does it mean to be alone? In view of these difficulties, we've focused on another question. How did we get here? It may be a less ambitious question, but I think it's a step in the right direction. Are we humans alone in the universe? Of course not. Look at those trees. <laughs> humans are not alone on Earth. See that? We're not alone on Earth. Look at all these life forms. And since we're not alone on Earth, and since the Earth is part of the universe, then of course we humans are not alone in the universe. Question finished, ended, answered. Are we humans alone in the universe? But let's get rid of human. Let's not ask that question. Let's ask, are we the life forms on Earth alone in the universe? All of these life forms, are, this is all the life on Earth. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> these are viruses. Are we the life forms on Earth alone in the universe? So, here's some viruses. We don't know whether they're life forms or not. So I would say that with our poor understanding of the most common organisms on Earth, viruses and viroids, and with our poor understanding of the origin of life on Earth and its boundaries, we do not know what the phrase, the life forms of Earth, means. And you cannot answer a question when you don't know what the words mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wish it were otherwise. But maybe there's a larger group of things. If you define life broadly to include convection cells and dust devils and hurricanes, then life on Earth is not alone. We know of such far from equilibrium dissipative structures all over the universe. We're not alone if you define Earth, uh, find life that way. Look at our fellow life forms. <laughs> uh, that's the surface of the sun, and each one of those convection cells is about the size of the moon. When I ask my sister a question she doesn't know the answer to, she sometimes replies, why do you want to know that? Why are you asking me that? Looking in the mirror at our motivations can clarify a question. To answer a question, sometimes we first have to ask ourselves, why are we asking that question? Answering that question can help us figure out what we mean by the words we, life, and alone.